Hello, I'm Rob and welcome to my workshop. Well, it's just a garage at the minute, but soon it'll be my workshop. Okay, so if you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, or even our website, you'll know that over the past, just over three years, I've been renovating this house behind me. <coughs> One of the main reasons we bought it was because it came with the big garage at the back. But because so much work I had to do on the house, I haven't really had time to do up the garage into my workshop. So it's become a bit of a dumping ground. And all I've used it for up to now is a bit of spray painting which you might have seen in some of my YouTube videos. And the house is situated on a main road, so excuse all the, the traffic noise. Okay, so there's the driveway. A load of bricks, because I've just taken a chimney down. A bit of lead and some chimney pots. And this is the garage stroke workshop. Okay, so in the past I have been self-employed. So in my other houses, I had a decent little workshop set up. So I have got tools and machinery because I am a cabinet maker and joiner by trade. Okay, so as you can see, it's a dumping ground. We've got scaffolding, ladders, gardening equipment. That's the rack I built for when I spray painted the wardrobe doors. Brilliant, best thing I ever made that. It gave me somewhere to stack the doors while the paint dried. It was brilliant. So chest of drawers, load of junk. Some saw horses. Cabinet that I need to fix. Okay, this is a strange one. A fruit machine. I need to sell that. And then we've got kids' bikes. More ladders, more gardening equipment. I've got a marquee in that box. More gardening equipment. There's my daughter's old pram. Bit of wood. Your old toolboxes, more ladders, more bikes. Some gym equipment, which I need to get back into doing that because I've put on a bit of weight over the last three years. And there's one of my machines, my little bandsaw. Okay, so I did try and sort it out at one point. I put up a bit of rack in there for some long lengths of timber. And the same on this side. Some of my thinner lengths. Plasterboard beadings, a bit of trunking, some screws up there. Rolls of edging tape. So, because we're on lockdown, I can't get rid of me rubbish. So as you can see, I'm full up on cardboard. Let me just move this and show you what's behind it. Right, so I've moved them boxes now. And if you're seeing all these postage bags and clear bags, that is my workshop from when we moved house. I packed it all up in them bags, brought it here, basically dumped it in here, and it's been here ever since, waiting for me to have time to sort it out. Now, as I say, we're on lockdown now because of the coronavirus, so it's given me the opportunity and a bit of time to come in here and try and sort a workshop out. So I don't know whether you can make that out, but there's a table saw under there, and hold on. If you look down there, I've got a planar thicknesser, which is going severely rusty because it's a bit damp in here. I've got a router table there with a chainsaw on top. Uh, at the back I've got a bobbin sander, a disc and belt sander, and there's a pillar drill down there somewhere. So I've got everything for the basic little wood shop. So I've got an extractor there. There's bits everywhere because I've just dumped it in. There's a lathe in there. I don't know if you can see that. There's another lathe somewhere, a longer one. So my task for today, in the next few days or weeks or whatever, is to try and tidy this place up 
and turn it into a usable workshop now there is loads of stuff in here and because I can't get to the tip I'm, I'm stuck with it so I'll just have to do the best I can the things I have done already if you can see behind me there I've put in these LED strip lights and they're really good so it's quite bright today we've got we have got some windows in here and there's a, a door there with a the window in but overnight when I put these on they do give off a really good light so there's six of them in here and I've also put in I don't know whether you can see where is it you can see that I've put in the lucky points and I've put in quite a few because I rewired this myself and you can never have enough sockets in a workshop so all that's done so at some point I probably need to insulate the roof and I know there's damp coming through the floor so I'll have to do something with that so if you've got any suggestions for me then let me know in the comments if you look we've got a concrete floor it looks like it's been two floors at some point there's rough concrete here and then smoother concrete there it's all cracked and um, there's damp coming through there's a bit over here it's under there where it's really quite wet so if you've got any suggestions what I can do to, to get rid of the damp then let me know in the comments uh, I was thinking of just putting a bit of a screen down and then maybe some OSB boards to uh, stop the damp coming through but if you've got a better suggestion and remember I'm on quite a tight budget here so uh, cheap and cheerful ideas please okay I'll mention one more thing before I start tidying up is I've started a website now a blog uh, I'll leave links in the description below but if you could check that out for us it really help us out um, I'm trying to do blogs on the videos that I've done on the channel up to now uh, my wife's doing some cooking blogs as well if you're interested in easy recipes for family life uh, we both work full time so you know, quick simple cheap meals that you can do when you get home from work that's what she's doing but um, if you do go on it click on a few adverts you know it helps us out a little bit to get paid from what we're doing rather than just giving everyone all this advice for nothing but uh, yeah so I'll put time lapse on now and I'll well, I think I'm going for my dinner now so but after dinner I'll go and well I'll, I'll tidy up the workshop so wish me luck uh, I won't film it all because it'll take forever but I'll start filming again when I've got it to a reasonable standard or somewhere in between okay so I'll see you in a bit Right, I finished my dinner, or some people call it lunch. Okay, so I've brought you up to the back bedroom so I can give you a view from the top of the garage, stroke, workshop, stroke, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so there's the view out the window. It is a big workshop. It's about 10 foot wide by about 40 foot long. So I'm lucky in that respect to have such a big space to start working in. All my other workshops, as in garages and my other houses, they've been about eight foot by 16 foot so here yeah, I've got at least double nearly three times the space to play with I mean in there I think you can get three cars in there so let's turn it into a good workshop why is it when you put a power tool down with a cord and you come back to it a few months later there's always a bloody knot in the lead I don't understand it I mean look at this how's that happened that's a knot in a knot in a knot. Oh well. Right, so I'm at the end of afternoon number one, I've had a busy day, filthy day. I'm covered in dust. My tea's ready, so I'll go for a shower and something to eat. Right, but before I go, I'll show you what I've been up to. Right, so I've tidied all that off, put some stuff in the drawers. I've put that shelf up there for me petrol, me oil, me two stroke mix and stuff. I've stacked my scaffold boards down there, nice and neat. Put my ladder on top, secured it to the wall there so it won't fall down on me. And I've put some of my gardening tools there put a little shelf there for the rest of them 
Well, that's a 1930s loft ladder, which I'm trying to sell at the minute, so that'll be going. Right, I've got this cupboard here, which my father-in-law donated to me, but it was falling apart, so I spent a good hour putting that back together and screwing the shelves in and whatever. So, the doors close on that. I've started putting stuff in, so there's all the paint and a few bits of tools and stuff. Close the doors on that, looks nice and neat. So I've stacked all that stuff there. I've put the fruit machine at the end there. Um, I'll be selling that at some point, so that'll go. But I've still got this half of the garage to go. So hopefully tomorrow I'll tackle this end. And uh, I think that's going to take a lot longer than the other end. But yeah, pretty successful day. So, I've got a nice bit of working space now. So, stick around and join me for day two. Right, so I'm getting there with the garage. I've, uh, I've almost got to the back, but um, I've just made a bit of a discovery. Now, on moving day, it was up the wall. We had so much stuff to move and so little time. Um, we only had couple of people helping us but everything just sort of got lashed in so I didn't even know these were here let's come and have a look at this okay so here we are at the back of the garage and we live in a 1930s house and all the ground floor has got parquet flooring in the two living rooms or the living room and the dining room we've got oak in the in the hallway we've got mahogany but in the kitchen they've actually taken it out and tiled it but this is what i found all the old parquet blocks okay some of them have got woodworms some of them are a bit rotten in the corner because it's damp in here but um yeah there's a shed load of oak parquet flooring bit of a find there and then there's a load of firewood there as well amazing what you find after three years of living in a house Okay, so we're close to the end of day two now, and I've hit a bit of a problem. I've uncovered all the clamps I've collected over 20 odd years, and I didn't realise I had quite so many. Let me show you. Okay, so I've got quick grip clamps. I've got actually more than this in the house. I've got G clamps, got F clamps, deep reach clamps, speed clamps. Then I've got all these sash clamps and assorted clamps. Now, I had them pinned to the wall everywhere in my old workshop, but I'm stuck for ideas in this one. So if you've got any suggestions how I can store all these, preferably on the wall or against the wall, because although it's a big workshop, I haven't got a huge amount of space for a mobile cart or anything like that. So if you've got any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. I'll be very grateful. And then on another build, I'll show you what I do with them all. Okay, so after three days or three afternoons of hard work tidying this place up, I've got something that resembles a workshop. At least it's a it's a workable space now. You know, I, I can get to my machines, I can get to my tools. I've got space to work around them. So I'll just give you a, a quick tour around, show you what I've done, what I've got, and um, I'll leave it there for that video. Okay, here's the front of the garage workshop. So I haven't got a shed yet, so I've still got the garden tools in here. Um, but this end is for spraying, basically. So I've got the curtain, 
there along the middle so I can pull that down so the overspray doesn't go into the bottom half of the workshop. So I've got the rack in there to dry things on. There's a picture frame up there at the minute. Okay, so I've got me saw horses there, got some storage drawers there, little shelf up there for the oils, petrols, even plant food. So moving down, I've got a decent sized cupboard, plenty of storage in there. Uh, as I said, I've still got the garden tools there, but hopefully I'll get a shed soon, so they'll go. I've got my chop saw there. Extractor, compressor. I've got my table saw there, but as you can see, there's rust on it. So it's going to take a bit of work to get rid of all that. Then this side, I've got my router table. Finally got somewhere for my weight bench. My weights get back to doing that, lose a bit of weight. Then I've got my little planer thicknesser, but again, full of rust. So it's going to take a bit of work to bring that back. Got somewhere for me two lathes, bandsaw. Okay, I got a dartboard, but we won't mention that. So got these shelves made out of scaffold boards. A bit rustic, but hey how it is what it is. It's an old damp garage, so I'm sure it'll evolve over time. Then I've got me two cabinet makers toolboxes there. I need to get rid of all that wood there, because I haven't got a log burner. So I'll have to find someone who has. Uh, I've got my little bobbin sander there as well and then my pillar drill and my belt and disc sander over there um, bits and bobs, there's my chainsaws up there shooting target radio, most important thing there DAB grinder so all my edging tapes have got somewhere to live now so yeah, pretty happy with that ok so that was my first vlog about Rob's workshop or my workshop. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Hopefully there'll be plenty more videos about doing the workshop up and then some projects, doing some woodworking. I am a cabinet maker. I've got 20 years experience up to now. So I can make a lot of stuff and hopefully I'll be making some interesting stuff. If you've got any suggestions what I could make in here, then leave them in the comments below. Uh, any general suggestions, just leave them in the comments below. And uh, I try and answer every single comment that I get. So again, if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So, oh yeah, I forgot to mention one thing. I'm waiting on a delivery for a new tool that I've treated myself to since I've got some space. So that should be the next video. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so I'll leave it there for this vlog and I'll see you next time.